Hello, everyone. Welcome to Elion's Joy. It's great to see you today. Welcome, welcome. I'm so glad you joined this episode and you are watching Elion's Joy with your host, Elion. I'm so happy to be here on this beautiful day. Welcome. And um, I'm going to have a great topic for you. We're going to talk about um, physical joint pain today and some things you definitely do want to avoid and maybe some tips that I use for myself at this fragile age while we are noticing that when you get older, it's gonna kind of hurt a little bit more. And these are the things that I'm trying to avoid. And I'm gonna give you some tips and uh, tools from my little uh, physical toolbox today. So um, we are all sometimes a lot in movement and sometimes we feel that we're not doing enough. It's very hard to find that balance. As your host, I am Elian Haan. Again, welcome, namaste, so good to see you. I have a lifetime of physical fitness and wellness um, as, as a career, sort of, right? Just always moving and teaching and doing fitness classes. And for years, just three, four fitness classes in a row a day. And then now the last 10, 15 years, I've been way more into wellness and yoga and Tai Chi still a lot of movement and still plenty of classes a week. So although I do much, uh, I do less than what I used to do all the time, it is still just kind of having an effect on this body. And sometimes I think, well, maybe I did too much, but what is too much and what is not enough, right? So we all know that our bodies are made for movement. We are made for for moving through life. We are We are in constant, uh, movements, but the last last couple of years also, and you know that I say that a lot, we've been sitting a lot more, and we have a lot more sitting jobs, we are behind the computer, we are behind the computer screen, and this might ultimately have a big impact on your physical system, on your joints, on your skeletal system, so if we are for instance, talking a couple of points here, and you know where I'm going, and I hope to just kind of share with you what I do. I never know really what the balance is between when it's time to, you know, kind of take care of yourself and not exercise so much, or when you need to do more. It's really hard to find, and it's a very personal and individual thing as well. And then depending also on what you like to do. But in most cases, if you are having a sitting job or you're driving a lot or you're in the car, maybe professionally um, for a career, or you travel a lot, you are doing a lot of sitting, then what we say is that you need to walk every day about 40, 45 minutes, right? Walking, swimming are always great things for your whole body to do when it comes to exercise routines. And um, one of the things that we definitely um, want to avoid, and I'm going to go straight in it. You can find all about um, these things also on, you know, my website, my YouTube. And today we are on Win Win Women TV. Did I say that? Great channel for everybody. Information sharing, all this stuff, the stuff that we are passionate about, and I am passionate about, about our, mod, our bodies, movement, bringing joy to you, making you smile, and giving you a little bit of energy, right? So today, the thing that we're going to definitely talk about that we want to avoid is to add too much weight to our bodies because our knees are definitely gonna give in. The knee joints do have a lot of work and knees, ankles, feet, and we don't think about that so much, how much we are just using our feet and our ankles and our knees, right? So constantly up and down and, and walking, of course, and, 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 and doing things like bending our knees and picking stuff up and going forwards towards the table, leaning into it. So all these things um, are, are, are difficult on the knees. And a lot of people have problems with their knees because they are overweight. And if you are overweight, then that is one of the things that might have an impact on your joints and definitely the knees. So we wanna just be very, very careful there. And we want to make sure that we are staying somewhat healthy in that healthy realm of what we can carry, what we can do, 
And if we are going too much over, which is a big problem for all of us, I know that, because we're all having a lot of um, issues with, with, with sugar and with, 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 with food and, and with fast food even, right? And I am not the healthiest cook in the world, believe me. I just really, I'm not a really good cook either. But it is very important to just eat less smaller portions one of the things that i can give you as a tip for uh, weight control and maintaining a healthy weight is maybe not doing a yo-yo diet that is just really personal a personal tip maybe that doesn't work for you but if you are um, able to to do an intermittent fasting that for instance works great for me just a certain time frame eight hours maybe that you're not eating or maybe even going to 16, 12, uh, 12, 16 hours. And then the rest of the day or the rest of the hours during the day, you can eat. So if you're, for instance, doing a 16 hour fast in those 24 hours, then you can say, well, I'm going to have breakfast at 10 o'clock in the morning and I will um add another eight, my last meal is at six o'clock at night. So you're giving your body a rest and restore time for about 16 hour time frame, 16 hours. Yeah, 16 hours, 16 minutes, 16 hours, right? Time frame to rest and restore. So that is really important to maintain a healthy weight for your joints, for joint control, right? For being a little bit nice to the body. The next thing is that is really a sign of the times as well, is they were just texting too much and texting and being on the computer and staring at that screen is just bringing us forwards into this motion of, you know, your head down and a lot of stress on the back of the neck, a lot of stress in the shoulders, and it automatically brings us to this bad posture. I talk about that a lot, so you can find lots of shows that I did on posture correction, on standing up straight, on carrying yourself well, and actually, if we want to carry ourselves well, we should text and have our phones right here, so that we can avoid having our heads all the way down and it's really not good for your shoulders even so every inch your head drops forward it is just kind of raising the load on the neck muscles right and the load on the neck and shoulder muscles so if you're going too far your head is really heavy then that just puts tremendous strain on your neck joints as well or on your spinal column in the back so that is not really a healthy thing to do the next thing that I can come up with is a really, really high heel. And um, I am guilty. A lot of years I wore high heels in my life. I loved it. It looks beautiful. It looks sexy. It feels good. But it's very bad for your feet and not good for your ankles either. Not good for your knees. Not good for your hips because that whole placement of your heels coming so high up will kind of like reset your physical structure and what that does is that everything is kind of out of alignment and it all has to do with each other so our whole body is just all connected right so once our heels are up we're doing different things with our hips and our lower back it puts tremendous pressure on our lower back and on our ankles and feet so that's not really a healthy thing to do and it's good to kind of like if you do wear high heels please do it looks beautiful but if you are exercising you probably have stronger um, ankles stronger feet I have strong feet because I was dancing part of my life and exercising so much so from from the ballet shoe right the point shoe all the way to sneakers is a big difference, but there's there's you know a lot of work in those muscles and 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 because they work so hard, they are still strong. So that is very important. Maybe you're doing a lot of feet exercises or you're doing things to to keep your feet healthy and you can handle that high heel. But it takes toll on your physical structure. So on your joints, eh, not so much, right? So kind of maybe where part of the day that heel and the other part of the day that um, sneaker shoe or just bare feet bare feet is very good for your for your for your um 
um, for your feet. Did I say that? Bare feet. Good for your feet. Yes. So another thing is that if you are wearing the wrong shoes, that's not a good thing either. We have what I say always here in Texas is kind of like what I call flip flop nation, right? We wear a lot of flip flops. And if we wear a lot of flip flops and you always see that um, that we have those flat feet, um, not really supported like like barefoot, but in these 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 flip things, not very healthy. And especially if you're in the South, like I am, we do wear that a lot. It's hot and it's understandable, but we do want to switch it off again with walking barefoot or with having a sneaker. And if you're wearing a sneaker, then a lot of your foot functions are being taken away and carried by the sneaker. So there, again, there is a healthy balance that we need to find. So it's very good if you're having a standing or a walking job to switch feet, to switch shoes on your feet while you're at the job. So if you're having two different pair of sneakers or a pair of, 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 of boots maybe and sneakers that you wanna wear at work, if you are standing or walking a lot, that would be a great idea. It is always a very healthy thing to do. So just take care of your feet that way. So wearing the wrong shoes is not a good idea either. And those high heels are not really good either. Sometimes we say that if you're carrying a really big bag, so you're having, for instance, a, you know, a, a backpack always full of books, is not very good for your posture. Again, that has wear and tear on your uh, joints as well. And because we do that heavy backpack, we're either kind of carrying back a little bit with our bodies so we're kind of hyper extending so that might put some really big pressure on the lumbar part of your spine or what you see with younger people a lot they're trying to carry that weight with their upper body and for that matter going forward it's right into that carrying mode and that's when we collapse our shoulders and we put again a lot of strain on the whole upper body upper back on our neck spinal column starting in our neck upper back and also on the lower back so these things are things to watch out for right it's all just kind of tips to watch out for to carry yourself well but what can you do to not put too much um too much on those joints too much weight or um the wrong the wrong posture so if you're lowering a big bag and especially a backpack full of um books I remember when my son was in high school that one day he came home and he said, mom, we're all going to the chiropractor. Uh, my friends and I have decided that we all, we have back pain and it's all because of those backpacks and we need to go to the chiropractor. And I, I encourage that, go to the chiropractor if you are in pain, absolutely. But more so stretch, right? Keep it flexible, but more so at that age, at a young age in high school, we should not yet have to experience those kind of pains. So back, back pain, hips, joint pain, not very good at that age either. So we have to watch out for that, right? If you are um, uh, carrying a lot and you are a heavy, a heavy carrier, make also sure that when you pick something up off the floor, that you're using your leg muscles, and that your knees are going straight over your feet and not inwards collapsing so that when you are picking something up you're not doing that with your back but you're doing that with your core muscles and with your upper legs so that strength is very important and i have many 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 videos and exercise correction videos corrective exercise videos on how to stand up straight and how to pick something up in these basic movement patterns, right? Because it's very important to do that correctly in order to keep that joint healthy, keep our joints healthy. So when it comes to that, that you're just really picking up wrong or you're just doing using the wrong muscles for the job, that could be another point, very good to point out today, that you're not really using the right muscles when you are on the job. And that is definitely the case, of course, if we're sitting and we're not sitting up straight or we're not doing a standing desk, sitting desk, right? You can see I'm using a standing desk a lot because I love to stand and 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 be able to move a little bit while, while I am 
<laughs> typing, right, or doing something um, on, on, on video or on Zoom. I love my meetings standing because I'm a mover, I guess, right? I like to um, uh, have that ability to be a little restless, let me say it that way. But if you're sitting a lot and you are um, in an office setting, it is very recommendable to talk about um, uh, the standing desk and, and, and then do that and, and, and try to alter between, alternate between the standing and the sitting um, for, at work, right? So think about also, this is one of my pet peeves that I see that people are coming to me with pain on one side so let's say it's job related let's say you're always going into your truck if you are a driver um amazon ups you're always climbing in that truck with the same lag we have a tendency of doing things um with the same side right but that means that we're always a little bit out of balance because maybe we are we were not overcompensating, but we're doing too much on that side. That side might be out of whack at some point, and you might have pain there, and then we're overcompensating on the other side. So if we can find a balance, even if we're in our everyday movement patterns, then that would be really healthy and really good for your joints and for your overall skeletal system. So that is definitely an, a, a good um, example. Also, um, let's say you let's say you're you're going to the floor to the ground all the time. You're going to the floor. Um, you are plumbing, and you're underneath the kitchen sink. So are we always? That's a good thing to think about. Are we always going down on the same knee to the floor? Are we always getting up on the same side? If that's the case, you can imagine that your hip is a little bit out of whack on one side if you're doing the same movement patterns consistently. So that might, you know, at some point have an impact, of course, in your hips and knees and all that stuff. So we want to avoid, this is kind of like proactive stuff. We want to avoid, these are tips to, to kind of stay healthy and do the things that are really good for you and really healthy for you. So that is definitely a good tip to watch if you are at your job site to make sure that you are, um, that you are doing the things balanced when it comes to your movements. So using the wrong muscles on the job, that can definitely be painful in, uh, the, in, in the end. And usually a lot of people that will have chronic pain, that might be because of that. Then we want to um, definitely point out that you want to sleep on your side or on your back. Some people sleep on their back. Most people sleep on their sides. We want to avoid sleeping on our stomach because of the natural curve. Our neutral spine, right, has a little curve in it. And so there's a little curve that will, um, will be off the mattress when you're really relaxing in a natural pose, in a natural sleeping state. But if you're on your tummy, then your back is really pushing down on the hip uh, flexors and the hip muscles, but it can cause tremendous pain in your lower back and not good for your joint system either. Then another thing to say, and then I'm going to finish with that, is that we always want to be really careful because why are we skipping stretching? Why are we skipping the basic stretches? You do not have to be a yogi. You do not have to go to the class. You do not have to go to the gym. You can just do it at home. But we have to, a couple of times a day, do our daily stretches. I have many, many tips for that and many videos. I will go into that again with you. So I repeat that a lot because it is important. We have to do those daily movement, movement pattern stretches that you can see that will really benefit everything you do when it comes to flexibility and mobility. So I truly hope that you will uh, follow me and that you will find me. You can find me on www.alienhaan.com. And on my website is a link to my YouTube videos. And there's lots of videos about movement, about uh, stretching, um, basic yoga exercises, posture correction, pain relief, chronic pain relief, all that good stuff. And all the shows for Win Win Women TV are also 
on my YouTube. So I hope you follow today and I hope you are getting some little tips out of it. Um, what I do like to share with you before we go is that I do use um, hyaluronic acid, which is an, an, an acid that's actually that we can find in our bodies around our joints and it will lubricate our joints. And sometimes we have to take that because we are not having enough in our body, enough made in our body. So we might have to take that in pill form sometimes that helps with the joints. I've been doing that for years for my onset of arthritis and it really, really helps. And the last tip is something that really helps me as well. And many of my clients and students um, to take a little bit of collagen peptides. So you can do that in powder form. You can get that everywhere. And it definitely helps with that lubrication of the joints. So I thank you so much for today. Namaste. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you next week, I hope. And keep it all looking up, right? That's where it all is. Thank you so much. See you next time.